basically I'm showing you guys what's in my hospital bag ready for when I give birth inshallah I'm currently 38 weeks pregnant which is about nine months I believe and so everybody advises you to get your hospital bag at about 35 weeks I've been taking ages to get mine ready because I haven't basically I haven't had a clue what to pack and I've just been really really like prolonging it trying to like just put it at the back of my mind because I just have no clue what to do. Me doing this video has kind of helped me get organized as well. So thank you for those guys who have requested it because it actually is a really highly requested video. And I don't know why because I know most of my viewers are not married and pregnant. So, okay, so basically I'll be taking two bags with me. One which is gonna have all my things in it and one which is gonna have all the baby's things in it. So this is my hostel bag and it's just like a big I don't know, stripy day bag from Gap that I stole off my sister. I was like, hey, that's handy for my hospital bag to see I'm um, taking it. So that's what I'll be taking with my things in it. And as you can see, it's all nice and packed. And then my baby things bag is actually a nappy changing bag. A super, super trendy, stylish one that I got from Gem and B, which is the company that designs super, super stylish, trendy nappy changing bags for mums who don't like the typical changing bags that you get everywhere, like the ones that are like plasticky with like prints of animals or big leaves, like really mumsy looking ones. So this is my super stylish changing bag and I flipping am in love with it. It's supposed to be for like everyday use when your baby arrives, etc. You need to carry baby things as well as your own things in there. Um, so I cannot wait to use it on a daily when baby does arrive. However, I couldn't resist not to take it to hospital as well because it's just super, super stylish. Smells great because it's leather. This particular design is the Jemima one and it's in black tumbled calf leather and it's amazing. The inside of it is full of like all these pockets and compartments to help you organize things. It also has a thermo insulated bottle holder inside and a luxury padded changing mat folded away at the bottom of the bag as well for when you're out and about obviously. And it also has like a clutch slash purse um, that comes with it that you can put your personal things like some change or like um, your lipstick or I would put my phone in it basically and maybe a fiver or something like that. <laughs> it kind of splits in half basically and it has a whole other layer behind it so that you can divide your stuff with baby stuff. I would use this even if I wasn't a mummy. It's perfect for daytime. Any, it's just perfect for all the flipping time when I'm with the baby, basically. So what I've done for today's video is I've unpacked both of my bags and laid them all out on the floor so I can go through what I'm taking um, in each bag for you guys. You can watch that right now, okay? Right, so I've basically set everything out like on the floor, all nicey nicey for you to show you everything. Okay, there's my Gem and B bag, obviously, waiting to be repacked. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the bottom row. Right over here. This over here, I've packed a muslin uh, swaddle blanket from um, Modern Burr Lap, which is uh, a company I came across on Instagram. They're www.modernburrlap.com. That monochrome look is super cute and stylish, whatever. I don't know why I'm thinking like that. Anyway, that's the only swaddle blanket I have right now. So I brought that with me. And then next to it, we have water wipes. And these say that they're chemical free, 99.9% .9 water because I read that you shouldn't uh, wipe baby's bums with baby wipes in the first two weeks. You just do it with water and like cotton wool. So I bought these. And then this is just like a little baby bib towel thing, I think, which I got from Baby Moon Birth as part of their gift package. Over here is the fancier outfit. So this is just like a sleep suit baby grow thing that says daddy loves me that I found in TK Maxx. And it's a newborn one, it comes with a bib. The sleeves have little um, like mitten, like they cover the hands, whatever. And then a little hat, and then the tiniest, cutest little socks on the planet. So this right here is just a sleep suit. And I'm actually gonna be packing two of these. So I've got this one as well. And they're different sizes, so this one's a bit bigger, it's up to one month, and this one's newborn. So depending on the size, what size my baby comes out, I guess is whichever one he or she will wear. And then to go with those, I have a little bib, and then I have the little vests for underneath. One's a long sleeved one and one is a short sleeved one. And then obviously I have some newborn nappies. I'm just packed like, I think there's like nine or 10 here for the hospital trip. I have no idea how many I need. I think that should be enough. If I need more, I'll just have to send Sid down. And then this is like a tiny little, you know, nail 
baby is literally tiny because they scratch themselves, don't they? Over here I've got two uh, muslin squares for like wiping or whatever people use them for. This is just a cellular blanket. Um, which baby can be wrapped up in when we leave the hospital. And this is a hooded towel I got for baby. I don't know if I'm gonna need that in the hospital, but I don't know, I got it anyway. The scratch mitts and a little hat that go with the sleep suit stuff. And then over here is the cotton wool pleat that I can um, just wet and clean baby with. And that is everything for baby guys. I was gonna pack like a nappy rash thing but but my health visitor was like you don't need that because um well the baby wouldn't have worn a nappy yet so it won't have a nappy rash. So I'm not packing that I'll just keep that for house usage. Anyway that's everything for baby. Now we'll go on to mine. So this is everything I've got packed in my bag. Here is my hospital bag. In the top corner we've got like you know, the embarrassing stuff like disposable underwear and maternity pads and all that stuff. So we can just put that away for now. This right here is basically my maternity notes that obviously everybody needs in the hospital. So this is gonna be my toiletries bag. This is just a set I picked up from TK Maxx. Oh, I love TK Maxx. And inside that we have a travel toothbrush and toothpaste, got from Primark, lol. And then we have a deodorant, lol. I've got eye makeup uh, wipes just because they are um, small and easy to carry and I'll probably use to wipe my whole face to be fair and then I've got this lush breath of fresh air toner water because when I'm getting hot and like annoyed I can spray it on my face maybe just to refresh I don't know got that and then we have a um, nipple cream Woo! exciting stuff then I just have a soap and glory nighttime moisturizer which I will just use on my face and then I just have some handy hand wipes then I have this um, spray from the body shop. It's the English, what is this? English Dawn White Gardenia a de Toilet. A de Toilet, yes. Uh, just to smell nice with, hopefully. I have a travel shampoo. I have some, my Crabtree and Evelyn hand cream. I cannot stand it if my hands are dry. I'll probably use it to moisturize my feet as well, to be honest with you, because I'm just not fussy about these things. And then I have a facial cream cleanser which is actually a sample I got from ASOS when I ordered clothes with a cloth. So I thought that would be handy because I don't have to bring my big massive face cleanser. Then I have hair bubbles to tie my hair away and I have my lip balm. And then I have another travel deodorant which I don't really need because I've got that one. And I prefer that to spray but maybe Sid or my mum can use that as well. For snacks I've got dates guys. I've got my dates with me and then I've got just chewing gum because I, I don't think I'm going to want anything else to be honest with you. And anyway if I do there's a shop downstairs that Sid can just go and get stuff from. Okay, over here I have a great big bath towel and a little face towel as well. Then I just have some like knitted socks for my feet because everybody says your feet get cold. This is also embarrassing maternity bras whatever. And then so I have these slippers which I picked up from Tesco for two pounds to use the bathroom with and to walk around the hospital with with my socks on underneath if I need to walk around I don't know I just got slippers with me and then obviously I'll have the shoes that I go to the hospital with which will probably just be a pair of trainers I have my Yazza Spaz Crunchy a bandana and a nude scarf that will go with an all black outfit that I'm basically gonna leave the hospital in. I've got two pairs of leggings, and so I'm gonna leave in leggings, cause comfortable, and then I've just got a long sleeve top for underneath this great big black oversized men's hoodie that I picked up from Primark. So I'm just gonna be wearing black oversized with leggings, trainers, nude scarf, and that's it to leave in. This is the stuff I've got for actual labor. So I've got this old top from Primark, uh, in a size 12. It's like three quarter length sleeves, kind of comes just above my knees and it's cotton and it's just, I mean, I don't, I hate it, I never wear it. Then another option for labour is this uh, Primark like night gown, which is just a really big t-shirt. I don't know what size it is, it's like in a, it's an extra large and it just says messy hair, don't care because obviously nobody's gonna care. And then if I need to walk around the hospital before like the actual baby comes out, I could be wearing this and then I've got my grey maternity leggings for underneath and then I also have this grey jersey um, cotton like nightgown which I could also wear over the top of the t-shirt if I have to walk around the hospital and then just take that off but then I could also use this nightgown for afterwards when I'm all cleaned up hopefully and I've just got a nice pair of fresh button down PJs for breastfeeding These, this is a pair I picked up from TK Maxx really classic like checkered 
cut in pyjamas with buttons to go down and then just the regular trousers. So they're my like nice new PJs for afterwards. So that's it guys. Plain black nude scarf to leave in and then like nightgowns to deliver in um, and then with like grey leggings to walk around in and then nice PJs for after. Towels and that's really everything in my bag. I also have like um, big ugly underwear that I don't care about but you don't need to see that okay I thought should I pack makeup for like if I want a nice picture but realistically I'm not I'm not gonna want to put makeup on I'm just gonna want to feel clean and moisturized if I do want a picture I'll just look down and not get my face in it or something like that you know so that is it guys that's what I've packed for my hospital bag and they are just gonna stay closed now and in the hallway ready for when we just need to grab it and go inshallah so um, really not that long left but I had the health visitor visiting me today and she said to me if you've had like a healthy pregnancy and no complications then if you're overdue they can let you go overdue all the way up until 42 weeks I was like oh my god that's still another four weeks really I I could potentially still be waiting another four weeks. It's just driving me crazy. I'm like really excited now because me and Sid have been buying loads of clothes for baby. We bought like the pram and all the stuff that you need. If you guys want to see all that stuff, let me know because I'll just do like a whole baby shopping haul video if you want. Check out Gem and B on Instagram. I'll leave the link for their website and for that bag and for their Instagram in the description so you can check them out. Seriously guys, I was searching and searching and searching for a really nice like mummy nappy bag that I could use every day and none of them were like I was like Ugh, I just have to carry it as an extra thing and keep it in the boot of the car and then just carry my own little clutch bag or my own handbag but I don't need to worry about that now because alhamdulillah I have a handy super super practical super stylish bag to use so fantastic anyway it also comes in other colors what else was I gonna say yeah I'm just rambling on too much basically like my head's all over the place because like pregnancy stuff and I've got so many things going on in my mind about things I need to prepare and I feel like time's running out, but then I feel like it might not be running out because I could be carrying this baby all the way up until 42 weeks. So then if that's the case, I've got a whole other month, really. I also can't wait to have the baby in shot last so that I can get back to doing uh, blogging. I'm working on refurbishing the blog, uh, really doing a lot of written posts and things like that. And also um, like styling videos I have planned for you guys. I just need to settle, I suppose. Anyway, Chaplin's come into the room now, so I think that's my cue to leave. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, bye! Now to do the thumbnail. How am I going to carry both these bags? Oh, this is heavy. Okay. Go, go. This is why I lift weights, girl, you know. Okay, wait, hold on. Thumbnail. Ooh. Maybe like this. Oh, Chaplin! Done!